Welcome guys, welcome to another Saturday meal. At the beginning of the video, you saw all the ingredients. I'm looking confused right now because I don't know which one I want to do first. So, I think what I'm going to do is turn this stove on. I don't like the clicking noise. You can hear the fire when it ignites. Well, earlier I didn't hear the fire, I just smelled the gas. <laughs> so, you know I got nervous. You gotta read the instructions. I told you after it got installed, she called me and was like, Do you smell gas? Mm -hmm. <laughs> So, while I have my pot here, my Eurocast pot, I have some uh, kielbasa. You're supposed to use uh, andouille, but, you know. You didn't tell me to get andouille. You told me to get kielbasa. Well, that's the kielbasa that we had from last week. Oh, yeah. I was like, actually, I don't think you told me to get anything. Yeah. I don't know. We, do we have kielbasa here? I just the way you got in the plate. Okay. What's the difference? I don't, I don't know. Like a sausage? It's a sausage. I have no idea what oh, the I'm doing. Oh, it has no MSG added. Oh, okay. No, this one though. No monosodium glutamate is added because that stuff is terrible on your body. It really raises your blood pressure. Okay, but it just don't have any. Right. It yeah. says no. Okay, so this is good kielbasa. So what I'm doing is put my olive oil in here. Right here. I got good kielbasa. Yeah. Well, it really don't say kielbasa. It's and then I'm just going to put this in here. They lie. <laughs> and let it cook up. So what I want to do is just put a char on them. Oh, never did tell you what I was making, did I? Sorry. <laughs> I am making Papa Do's Mardi Gras pasta. I saw a YouTuber that was eating that as a mukbang. And it's like, I can recreate that. And that's what I'm doing. So this is my rendition of Papa Do's Mardi Gras. And what was the name of the YouTuber? Um, my Be Lovely. Be Loves Life. Well, she, she says Be Lovely, which her, is Bethany. Her, her name on YouTube is Be Loves Life. Well, okay. Be Loves Life, Bethany. My Be Lovely. Yeah. Okay. They know what she's talking about. Yeah, they know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay. They get it. So I'm just gonna let this uh, fry up some, and I, you know, Miss Marty Pants and Miss Marty Art, I think went to Papa Do's. Have y'all been to Papa Do's? I yeah. have, and she went. No, oh, okay. I looked at the prices. It was like, oh my God. The amazing. first time I went to Papa Do's, I think, was in Dallas, and that was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I've been to it here in our state, and it sucks. It's quite different. I won't say it sucks. It's, it's sucks. just different. That's why I even went, because I'm like, well, I ain't going if it ain't the same. Well, I looked at the price, and honey, you do have to have a papa with some dough. <laughs> You yeah. sure do. I'm still looking for mine. Where are you at? Where's the papa with the dough? You still have to have some papa with some dough on that one. I'm talking about at least six dollar signs. <laughs> no, on this one wasn't no six dollar sign on that one. <laughs> yeah, I'll take twelve dollar signs. Where where's the papa with the with the moolah, the De Niro? So Papa Dough, meet Mama Dough. <laughs> okay, so I'm doing the rendition. Yeah. Alright, so Carly Wells is here. Hey. Miss Smarty Pants is back. What's cracking? Did he even say that anymore? Yeah, what's cracking like it back in the 60s? What's cracking like it? What's cracking? What's popping? Oh, well, it's popping for y'all. Ours was, what's cracking like it? <laughs> Suck. <laughs> Suck. 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 in the 80s. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to let this fry up and then I'll come back and let okay, you guys, guys see. Come back. So this is what the kibasa or the andouille sausage will look like here okay and like I said I put olive oil in here so next what I'm going to do now is add uh, this is shrimp and crawfish and I'm going to add this whole thing to it and would you season it with? I season it hold on y'all know if you don't have this, what's wrong with you? I season everything with this. Sometimes I will switch up. You see how much I have left? Let me show you. Guess who used all that? Well, we're going to have a great 4th of July, are we not? I mean, it's all marinating for a whole month and everything. It's all done. Well, baby. 
only thing I gotta do is light the grill and put some beets on there. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna saute these up because I season it with my uh, chicken rub. And I'm gonna cook this, cook it down, and then I'm gonna take it out of the pot. But before I do that, I'll let you guys see how it looks. But I'm gonna take it out of the pot and let it uh, hang out for a little bit, and then I'll come to my next step. Okay, guys, so here's my shrimp right here, and you see all the, oh shoot, the pot is hot, the crawfish right here. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and start taking it. Um, out the uh, pot, put it in a bowl. Like I said, I am going to let these hang out some. I hope you still have some shrimp left. I can't guarantee that I won't take a few. Don't eat these. I'm just give me a heads up. And I'm gonna give you the heads down. Don't eat these. I can't guarantee you I, I won't take a few. Kiki. Yeah. Stop. Just let her know. Because I know you're going to snatch some up too. That's why she ain't saying it. <laughs> I've been saying a bowl over here. I, I, I promise you. Well, how about I just put the bowl over there by the TV? Just saying. Okay. Well, you have to go and to I'll the bathroom sometime. Not right now. You will. I already went. <laughs> so. All right. So I'm just going to take this out of here as much as I can and I'm gonna let this juice uh, reduce listen to me or reduce okay it's a culinary what the culinary people say okay so I'm gonna let it reduce some and then I'm gonna come back with the next step okay, guys, so you see how this has reduced some see all that goodness my spices and the uh, the oil from the uh, uh, poly sausage the kibasa so I've already had olive oil, olive oil, olive oil in here, and so now I'm just going to use this much. Don't ask me what that is. Of uh, Kerrygold butter, you guys know I like Kerrygold butter. Okay. I'm going to let this melt a little bit. And what the butter does is give it. Uh, the vegetables and stuff that a little sheen to it and it also the butter cooks out uh, the water that's in the butter now in here I have a whole onion and some garlic I'm going to do the garlic first well some onions be in there they jealous <clears throat> if they want to be with it I'm going to let this season up a little bit you see, it almost make it like a paste, like you could just take some crusted bread and dip it in there. Wow, that sounds good. That's it's good. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like an idea. Okay. See that? And you could just smell the garlic. All right. Now I'm going to add the onion. I'm going to add the whole thing in there. Ain't nobody got time for all that. And I'm making this harder than what it is. It's not hard. Because if you got a good jar of marinara sauce, put your onions and stuff in there and there you go, good to go. Okay, or you make your own marinara, manaro, how do you say it? Marinara? No, manaro? Mm. I don't marinara. know how the Italian say it. Marinara. Oh. Okay, then I got one red bell pepper, one yellow, one green. I'm going to put all that in there and just let these saute up. And I guess the reason why they call it the Mardi Gras because of the confetti color. Mm -hmm. And I didn't dice that pepper. It didn't want to be diced, but it's diced now. Okay. So you guys go check out my girl. B loves life on she always her thing is my B love ladies so go check her out and I'll put her uh, YouTube YouTube name in the description box so like I said 
Papa dough, welcome to Mama dough. It's good like that dough. Okay. Now I'm going to use some cremini mushrooms. And I think you can use any type of uh, mushrooms you want. These are cremini. I try to be close to Papa Do's as I could. But this is my rendition of Papa Do's Mardi Gras pasta. I've already had in this other pot my fettuccine. Uh, they use linguine. I'm using fettuccine. And what I did was uh, boiled up my water with some salt and some uh, olive oil in it. So the pasta won't stick to itself. Alright. So you just want to cook these down. If the, the mushrooms are too big, you can, you can uh, cut them in half. Me, I love mushrooms. I like mushrooms too, especially fried mushrooms with some jalapeno ranch. Yes! You shouldn't say that because somebody will probably copy it. I'll do that. Okay, you gonna you gonna make me some mushroom, Mom? I'm some gonna make you some mushroom with some jalapeno ranch. I sure will. Yes. Mm-hmm. I sure will. <laughs> I sure will. Okay. Oh, look at that. Good job. You make that? Mm-mm. Come on. So I you just it. want this to cook up a little bit, and now what I'm going to do. It's add just a little more flavor, not much. Guys, what we say about this better than bouillon chicken? It makes everything taste good, even when you don't know how to cook. <laughs> I certainly hope not. Like, you'd be putting some weird flavors I'm in I'm using there. that much, and that's all I'm going to use because of my spices and stuff. Now, if you don't have my chicken rub, go to carlisaspices.com. Let me repeat, carlisaspices.com. That's C A R L I S S S P I C S dot C O M. <laughs> dot com. Dot C O M. Yeah. Because this plaques are all up there in the screen, but you know, I guess some people that's new don't see it. So, so you just want to let this cook up some, just like I just did right here. Mom, mm -hmm. can't hurry. It's hotter than catfish oil in here. Okay. I was being goofy. <laughs> okay, I'll come back with the next step. Hi, right, catfish. So see how oil. this has cooked down already? Look at that. I tasted this, guys. Oh my God, it is so good. All right, so next, what I'm going to add, and I didn't put this in there, the Italian seasoning, because actually I'm making. A spicy marinara sauce okay and I use probably maybe about a tablespoon I think this is gonna be delicious mm -hmm. and I'm going to use uh, my glasses. tomato sauce tomato sauce uh, no salt added yeah good job I knew you were coming <laughs> awesome. okay All right, and then I'm gonna add, you guys, you know I love Rotel. I'm sorry, I just love Rotel. Because I love stuff tomatoey. That's the original one. This is the original Rotel, this is the large can. The big old can. Okay, now my next one, because I didn't have Miss Smarty Pants to go get, um, let me drain this real quick. To go get the uh, tomatoes in a can, I just had some Roman, Roman tomatoes. And what I did was just split the top and put it in salt boiling water. Now I'm just going to take my hand and just smush it up. Just it was just it. like the ones that were in the can. Yeah, it's like the ones in the can. So if you could do this, do it. And then you'll know what's in it. Mm -hmm. Okay. I can those. You can. Man, I got a whole bunch of tomato plants too. 
Oh, we're gonna be having fried green tomatoes a lot. <laughs> okay. Oh, we'll make sure little man waters your garden while you're on travel. Oh, please do. <laughs> I'll be so sad. Come back, all my stuff is burnt up. I'm like, we're so hard. <laughs> okay. Now you just want this to cook. Now, because I'm using seafood, I will add some cilantro. And it's not coming out. So it's coming out, it's just a little bit. Yeah, I'll say that's about a tablespoon. Now you can go back and adjust your seasoning as you go. As I always say, always adjust. And if you don't have my chicken rub, as I was trying to say before, oh guys, let me tell you, let me my little new little gadget I found. Oh, it's God. so cute. It is so she freaking cute. She see the smile on her face when she put the garlic in there. It's a, she should have seen the smile on her face when she got it at the store. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. It's a little garlic chopper. It, it mints and it's sliced. Look at that. Isn't that cute? So I did some garlic. <laughs> this is what I did. I used like maybe about 20 to 25 because these are small, small cloves. So that's what I did on that one. And of course you guys know about the crawfish. I used two packs of the crawfish. Oh boy, it was a chore getting that crawfish. And I used the uh, peel and shrimp tails off. Peel and de vein. And de vein. This is what I used. Two packs of those. So now you go and tell them the story about the crawfish. Oh guys. I don't know what's going on with Colorado. They they own some other kind of stuff. But you couldn't find crawfish nowhere. And I'll let Miss Smarty already tell you the story. Who? I mean Smarty Pants tell you the story. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I had to go to four stores to find the crawfish tails. I went to two King Supers, one Walmart, one Safeway. And they all told me, well, except for Walmart, they all told me that they basically don't order crawfish tails in the packet like that no more because nobody buys them. So now if you want to go to those certain types of stores, you have to call ahead of time before you make your deal dish, whatever, dish or whatever and um, basically order them and pick them up. I had to go back to Walmart to ask the woman to go get them from the back. It, it was hot yesterday. It was hotter than catfish yeah. grease. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm in the car suffering, driving around, frazzled. I wonder why I was in the bed and not out with the rest of them. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm adding two more uh, teaspoons of this because of the tomatoes. So it kind of took away the rest of the seasoning a little bit, not much. So, because I, I do want this very flavorful. So as I said, Papa Doe, me Mama Doe, you can have Mama Doe at your house. Yeah, that looks good. I wish I could take some with me. Yeah. Oh, I, you know what? I'm going to find a way to take it with me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, so like I said, in that other pot, I had my fettuccine going. Do not get rid of the pasta uh, juice or flour uh, water because if this becomes too thick, you can take a ladle and put it in here, okay? Now you really, you won't let this cook for about an hour. But we don't have an hour. Why an hour? Because you want all the flavors to marry each other. Oh. Yeah. Let it simmer. Yeah. So you can let it simmer if you want to for about an hour. If it gets too thick, like I said, take your pasta water and add a ladle in there to the consistency that you like. And beloved life, Bethany, I'm going to uh, write you and ask you if it's okay if I can make your seafood boil because that looks so good. I want to make it so I want to know if it's okay if I can make it and I would definitely give you credit for it. Totally. Because this right here is inspired by her mukbang. Because I'm always supporting 
other channels and I definitely support uh, Be Love's Life. Oh, I think YouTube, it's a, you could get a love-hate relationship with YouTube. You could have a great community yeah. or you could have an awful community where there's just nothing but a bunch of trolls. Like, you, it's guaranteed if you're on YouTube, you're going to get some trolls. Oh, yeah. They tell you what to do, how to do it, when to make it, how your social security number should look, uh, you need reconstructive surgery, uh, what color to paint your toenails, how to raise your children, how to make macaroni and cheese, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm going to say this again, guys. If you do somebody's... Um, mukbang or inspired by their recipe please give them credit please give them credit they deserve it mm -hmm. because if they if you was inspired by them you wouldn't be making their recipes so give them credit right okay you don't get up there and say i make this all the time my family loves it you lies i don't know what Quiet. Yeah. I'm mm. waiting for that to get done. That's good. I'm like, wait, her up. I'm gonna watch this cocoa video. Weez be hungry. Okay. Now, like I said, you can go back and add. And you know what? I think I will add a little more uh, Celtic sea salt because it just don't have that pat out taste for me right now. Oh, uh, you gotta use the bad salt for that one. <laughs> well, I'm not using the no, bad salt. Works just fine. I am using the Celtic sea salt. With all the salt. minerals in it. Yeah, with all the minerals. I'm in like, it. you looking for the pat out? You gotta use the one that cuts your veins and stuff when you eat it. <laughs> the table salt. Yeah. yeah that was mm -hmm. my Tabasco sauce in it. Huh? Tabasco. You wanna put some Tabasco in there? Tabaki. No, hey, I was like, you don't like spicy stuff. I do. As long as not too spicy. Okay, give me tobacco. Give her the tobacco. Give me the tobacco. Miss no Louisiana. I like Louisiana. And tobacco forever. Okay. Good. Good job. I don't know how much that is, but she already said good. That's good. Okay, so. Okay, and I'm adding some basil, fresh basil, in here. Okay. Yeah. You're scrimping stuff. Yeah. Scrimp. Here's my scrimp. My crawfish. Shrimps. Shrimps. <laughs> okay. Now, we're just going to try to pour this in here because this spoon is hot. Well, yeah. I learned my lesson with that one too. You got to take it out. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse the bowl, y'all. I'm really trying to, you know what, I was trying to take some of the juice out, but I use it. It's all good in the neighborhood. Okay. All right. All right, let me have a little tasty. Mmm, really good. All right, now from here, now that's your confetti marinara sauce. Now I'm going to put, ouch, try to put some of this in here, which is the fettuccine. Mom, you don't need a bigger pot. I know, you going to get me one? What? Okay, you want a bigger pot. Are you still using that one? Yeah, I'm using it. I'm talking about, are you going to buy me one? Those. I want a bigger one. Why? What, do you want it like the dehydrator? You got the green pot, you need that one? She, Jay says she needs one the size of the dehydrator. <laughs> okay. Oh my do God. Do they make them that big? They do. Mm -hmm. Oh. Look at that, guys. You don't need it. No, you know I'm not, not a pasta it. person, but oh my gosh. Look at this. Okay, I'm going to turn this off. take it outside and wash it. You cook stuff for being like you brew in the microwave. Yeah. <laughs> Can we wash it in the sink? It's a really big one. Okay. Outside with a water hose. 
Look at this. Now what I will do is add some black pepper to it. Look at that. That is really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's very all right, I'll come back because they, they're working my nerves. So I'll come back with the finish and the plated uh, okay, bowl. Okay, guys, pot. here is my mama dough inspired by um, B. B Loves Life. B Loves Life. From her Papa Do's mukbang. For, from her Papa Do's mukbang. Bethany, girl, the way you was eating that is like, oh my God, I'm going to have to make that. And she don't like pasta. Yeah, I don't like pasta either. Everybody knows that. So here it goes. I hope if I could send some of this to Bethany and she would have a taste and let me know what it like. It's got a lot of seasoning, a lot of spices in it. And what then you do is you don't want to make your own marinara sauce. Like I said, you know, you can get the jar of marinara, but make your own. If you add the tomatoes, get the Roman tomatoes and or pick them from the garden. Or pick them from the garden and cross cut them and boil them in some uh, salt water. Let them cool off. Peel the the uh the thing off peel it off the skin and there you go you got your own fresh uh tomatoes blanched tomatoes okay here we go guys look at that i'm gonna turn it around y'all don't show got y'all won't soon y'all won't soon can't hand that can't sit here young yeah. witch see there we go and of course you know i made it with this season it with this all right all right so guys Go check out my girl, uh, Bethany, at B Loves Life. And she always say her intro, uh, what's up, my B Loves? So go check her out. Look at it. You want some? Look at it. You want some? <laughs> That's it. It's really, really good. Like I said, to go to Papa Do's restaurant for real, you got to have some pop. You got to have a Papa with some dough because that's pretty expensive. Okay, not the way I made it. It's not that expensive. I made it complicated, but it's not complicated at all once you get into it. All right, guys. So. Check out my uh, website, carlisthespices.com, and get your spices on. And remember, guys, I'm going to have to say this in every video. When you get your package, you will have to sign for them. You will have to sign for them. Or else they will come back, and it's non-refundable. So that's the only thing I can say on that. So, guys, let me know if you made it. Subscribe to my channel. Help me. Uh, get higher than the numbers that I already have. I really appreciate it. Share me with anybody that you know that loves to cook or want to cook or don't know how to cook. All right. Once you get a hold of my channel, hey, you're going to learn how to cook. If nothing else, you're going to learn how to cook. She must definitely teach you how to keep a man around. I so do. good they won't even want to leave. I know. I've been married to you. Okay. Well, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. So. Guys, check me out, share me, rate, comment, go on to Mayhem Beauty's channel, check her out, comment, rate, subscribe, subscribe to everybody, support one another. If you make somebody's dish, give them credit, please, give them credit, they deserve the credit, okay, they really do. So this credit goes to Bethany, Beloved Life, as she said, my beloved Lees, and Papa Dome. So this is my a uh, rendition of Papa Do's Mardi Gras pasta. So guys, as I always say, stay loved, be loving, as I always love you. Bless the love, and Miss Marty Art Pants would say. Who wants the garlic chopper? You're not giving away my you garlic. You need it. Yeah, I do need it. Bye. I'll see you next Saturday.